Hello guys, welcome to another video. This video is an update to a previous video I made about an alternative to RTX Voice, a software to remove noise from audio with neural networks. The way I did it before works but is a bit complicated to set up. And after almost a year I still need to use the filtering thanks to my lovely neighbors who have a fetish for hammers and power tools. I'm still using the same VSG filter but now with the Equalizer APO, which is an open source equalizer for Windows. The big advantage is that you configure it once and then you don't need to worry about it anymore. After the loading it, just install the equalizer and at the end select the devices you want to use it with. I will select the speakers and the microphone. After the install finishes, you will need to restart your computer. Now that we are back, I will copy the VSG filter file, which I downloaded earlier, and pass it into the APO Equalizer VSG plugins folder. But other folders may be fine too. Now you can configure the filter with the configuration editor. I will clean up everything here and just leave the first one that calls for a configuration file. Then I created a new blank text file to configure the microphone and open it with the green arrow up button. After that, we have to click on the green plus button and select control device. Then click on change and select only the microphone. And finally, again, on the green plus button, select plugins and VSG plugin. Then you just have to select the filter. And that's it, now the filter should be working for the microphone. You can turn it on and off here. Unfortunately, for me it wasn't so easy. It wasn't filtering anything. So I decided to mess around with the APO equalizer settings. If it's already working for you, you don't need to do this. In the configurator, I checked the troubleshooting option. And what I did was to change to install SFX, MFX and deselected the pre-mix the, on the playback devices. On the capture device I only switched to install the SFX, MFX. I'm not sure what's going on here, but if you have problems try changing the settings here. But you always need to restart after doing so. And now I will do a quick demonstration of the filter, simulating a very noisy environment. For the demo I configured the filter for my speakers but I'm not going to use it like that. I will introduce a new loop here, which will go through all the horizontal lines of the screen, adding a new list inside the pixels list each time. The resolution I'm going to use here will be 60 by 48 pixels. Now the vision loop goes inside the vertical loop where it passes through all the pixels on the horizontal line. Some adjustments need to be made. Blanks have been removed. The Z coordinate was inserted in the ray calculations. Every time a ray hits a wall, the color is calculated and saved in the pixel list. When the ray passes through the ceiling or the floor, for now, a white pixel is saved to the list. The pixels are then plotted with the inshow function. This should be the result. If everything is all right, we can now take care of the ceiling and the floor. For the ceiling, I've chosen a strip pattern where the color is calculated based on the X coordinates where the ray intersects the ceiling. For the floor, on the other hand, I've chosen a checkered pattern also defined by the coordinates of the where the main things can To mark the exit of the maze, I've chosen a flat blue color. And now, we have a more practical thing. Notice the difference that the floor and the ceiling have An interesting thing that this new approach makes possible is changing the tilt of the blue's pad. So I added here in the button. And as you can hear, the filter cannot filter everything perfectly but it helps a lot, especially when making video calls and things like that. Unfortunately, I cannot compare it directly to RTX Voice, but it is a solid solution while using hardly any processing power, like it uses 1% of a single core. I hope this video was useful for you, 
The links to download the filter on the equalizer are in the video description. Thanks for watching and until the next time.